Hello everyone, I'm John McRae, and tonight I'm going to be telling you all about Mind Game. Yeah. Uh, so growing up, I was very competitive. I played sports all throughout high school, loved the competitiveness, getting better, and doing it all the time. However, as I got older, it got a little harder to compete. So whilst others turned to other activities, I ended up turning to eSports. Now, eSports is when you turn video games into a competitive passion. And if you don't know, players compete in tournaments and leagues with um, arenas filled with thousands of fans. Worth over a billion dollars, this industry isn't some simple game. It's capturing a strong and millennial market, and it's even taking views away from traditional sports. So it's no wonder that brands from Arby's to Geico, and even big names like Shaq, Joe Montana, and Mark Cuban are all trying to hop on this hype train. Big things are happening fast, and investors are starting to pour in. I even went to an event last weekend at TBS Studios called the E-League, where they broadcast these esports out on live TV. So as my esports journey continued, I got to meet some incredible people. And this is our team, starting with Sethan. He's the CTO of Insightpool, and has helped them raise millions of dollars. Uh, next up is Jonathan Tran. He's a fourth year here right at UGA, and is uh, interning at Insightpool with Sethan, learning the trade. Next up, not on stage here with us right now, is Gabe Newborn. He's in the back, our marketing guru. guru. He's a fourth year management major here at UGA, also with a minor in CS. Next up, everyone's favorite is Dino right down there, a fifth year management major who's worked for some really cool places. And last but not least, myself, John McRae. I'm a fourth year finance major here, and I've really grown in love with the idea of entrepreneurship. So while we have a nice diverse group here, you might be wondering what brought us together. Well, that was eSports. We played together long nights trying to beat each other up, getting better. Um, and in the eSports community, there's this idea of get good. Players want to challenge each other, making each other better, making this eSport they play better, and thus legitimizing this business. But because the scene is so young right now, and a lot of it's disorganized, not many people are sure how to get better at the games they play. So thinking back to my days of traditional sports, I had an idea. I always felt like I learned the most on film days, mostly because we didn't have to do any running, but also because I got to sit back and just learn from our games. It's incredible what you can learn from just watching your past mistakes and seeing how others tackle a situation can give you a new perspective. We used a web platform called Huddle. It's a video sharing service that provides tools for coaches and athletes to learn and review game footage, thus improving their team play. Huddle has raised over $78 million and have really proved this model in the traditional sports sector. However, eSports has no platform like this, and any coaches there are are severely unorganized. So that brings us to MindGame. MindGame is our custom-built web platform, and it's our mission to enable e-athletes of all skill levels to get better by watching their games and asking questions to community members to help get better. Here you can see our live working MVP. You can let players browse top plays or post some of their own for feedback. Streaming comments will pop up as the video plays, giving players helpful advice while the action on the screen continues. Players can ask questions for any situation and the community will work together to help answer. We want to prove that by bringing the right tools into this emerging market, not only will it make the players better at their games, but also help the industry move forward as a whole. Now, being in such a niche and young market, there really isn't much true competition out there yet, but there always could be soon. We actually just learned about today a company called Gamer Sensei that just does one-on-one -on -one coaching, but they've already raised $2.3 million. As said before, a lot of our ideas come from a huddle of esports mindset, and it's not stopping much from YouTube or someone similar from doing the same. However, where we have our advantage is from the relationships we formed within the community. Being niche and grassroots might give us a smaller overall market, but the user base is thirsty and loyal. We asked 100 players from the local scene to join our closed beta, and 92 have joined our mailing list and plan to go up once the site goes live. We've gotten this incredible conversion rate because we are players too, and the community trusts us. Thanks to our community integration and personal networks, the cost to acquire a user has been extremely low. 
One way we achieve this is by using hyper-specific Facebook groups. And community influencers are all right at our fingertips. We can easily reach a large number of our targeted user base because that is where these communities live, thrive, grow, and communicate. From Athens, Georgia, to Southern California, or even the whole state of Montana, we can get access to these groups, market on their sites, all for free. And something else we can do is go to events and meet these users face to face. Uh, gamers these days aren't just some basement dwelling troll that you see on the internet, but passionate and diverse individuals that go out and want to share their passion with others. While it's a little more expensive than free, this helps us perform our customer discovery while also showing off our new ideas and gaining our users' trust. Currently, we're only focusing on one game, the one we know best, Super Smash Brothers. However, once we capture that market, we plan to move to other esports titles and quickly grow our user base by integrating ourselves into these communities. However, reaching and serving this user base isn't going to be free. We've charted out our potential server costs right here on the slides, and to run the site successfully for about two years, it'll take $1,000. But we also aren't done yet, and we have a great product roadmap on the way. We want to implement comment and video voting, automatically made highlight reels for players to show off their top plays, teams to privately come together in a smaller group and discuss strategy, a stack overflow like question and answer, where players can ask questions for specific tips or tricks, tagging, comprehensive sense, and the list goes on and on. We hope to monetize a few of these features, as well as private coaching sessions to get one-on-one -on -one time with top players that the players that want to get better will really pay for. We also want to add premium accounts and merchandising and hardware plat uh, partnerships so everyone can get in the game. Now, this might seem like a lot, but that's what brings us here today. We need your help, and we need $10,000. Because not only will it help pay for our server costs, but also give us opportunities to go out and brand ourselves. From meeting players to sponsoring events, our grassroots nature really gives us, um, will really allow us to make $10,000 $10, go really far. So we can't do it without y'all, and we want everyone to be a part of our community. So thank you so much for your time, and get good. There are there events where a hundred people come together, or is it sort of a virtual collection? Yeah, we focus mainly. Um, we've gone out to live events. Um, there can be anywhere from a hundred people going to you know five thousand people going to the events, and that's just to compete. Um, even to view, there's you know crazy numbers filling up stadiums, as we showed in those slides, just packing out people wanting to watch these events. But then also online, there's a massive viewership for people streaming it, um, watching it, and learning through that as well. So uh, gr great market, by the way. Esports, mm -hmm. huge, huge niche. What's, uh, I mean, supposedly Madison Square Garden sold out for one event in less than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the teams that they get together are like rock stars. Are you guys, uh, so that they may have, hundred thousand followers how do you how do you you know ten thousand dollars doesn't seem like a lot of money to gain marketing wise to gain access to the the market and what's your uh, what's your financial model what do you charge if you're coaching or I mean give us a little more detail on that yeah so I mean the way we can get ten thousand dollars going really far is because we're players ourselves and we're in these communities uh, we don't need to really influence people through you know monetary value uh, we can, you know, we've gone out and talked to people and say, hey, this is something we're doing. We'd like to be a part about it. And they'd say, yeah, it sounds really cool. I'd love to help. Um, and that's just because we've gone to these events. We're part of the community for so many years now uh, that they really trust us. So we don't need the money to do that, so to speak. We just need it to help, um, you know, fund our site uh, and get us out to these events to where we can you know, go meet some people um, and help some connections. And um, financially, uh, we haven't nailed down some of the numbers we want to do, but uh, it's crazy how much people are paying for, um, you know, coaching uh, time. Like we just saw um, at that competitor, uh, Gamer Sensei, they rent out top players for what was it? Was it? Twenty five hundred. Yeah, twenty five hundred an hour. Um, 
So we're not um, quite sure if we can reach that right away. Um, but once we think we you know, build our user base and sort of prove our model, uh, I think it's easy to see how people could uh, spend their money on something like this trying to get better at these games uh, with so much money on the line and competitions and things like that. So I'm still trying to understand the revenue model because <coughs> And how, it's, okay, let's, let's go back to coaching for just a minute. Mm -hmm. How do you develop your reputation to even become a coach? Uh, in the community, once someone's sort of proven themselves as a player, um, you know, they'll, you know, the esports market's so young that a lot of people uh, can, you know, retire at 30 years old or something like that. And uh, once they've gained their own reputation uh, or are a top player trying to, gain some extra cash themselves, uh, they will go out and try and be a coach to some people. But right now, it's very disorganized. Uh, basically, people asking on Twitter is like, hey, I give coaching sessions. Uh, so there's really not much of a marketplace right there. So one of the things we help to bring on our platform is a marketplace where these top players will be able to connect with other players uh, to gain those coaching sessions. Will there be different prices for different people with different reputations? How do, right. how do you price it out? Uh, I mean, I think we would leave it up to whoever would be the coach. Um, we would take a cut of that. Um, but obviously, a better well-known person will have to charge more. Um, someone not so much, you know, less so. Okay. Do you want to add anything on yeah. that? Oh, yeah. So just on that, how, how do we, if, I, if I'm a coach, how do you, you know, I, I come up, I'll charge $2,000. How do you get your cut of that? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, so there's a, there's a great company in Atlanta um, called SidePrize. Maybe some of you have heard of it. Um, so SidePrize, um, their whole uh, value prop is essentially they're going to they're gonna charge people um, in eSports like, hey, I bet I could beat you at this game, right? So to go back to your original question, um, we want to take a cut from facilitating that transaction. So if top players come to the site and they say, it's $1,000 for one hour coaching session, uh, we can use the SidePrize API, uh, CEO is a good friend of mine, we use the, C uh, the SidePrize API and facilitate that transaction and take a cut right off the top. So that's pretty much our revenue model for, for that. Um, in terms of like other revenue models, premium accounts are, are crazy. Uh, people on Twitch subscribe to a premium channel for $5 a month, um, and this is how people make their living. Uh, it's just, just doing subscriptions on Twitch. Um, another thing that we had, we had talked about um, was uh, having our own store so people could buy um, uh, anything they need for esports, whether, whether it be controllers, consoles, games, that kind of thing. And there's a lot of affiliate programs like Amazon and other things like that that allow us to do that and, and take a little cut of each sale. So, um, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.